All right, we're here with Garrett Clark of Vendetta, Vendetta Cycles, and they're another custom Oregon bike builder. They're out of Corvallis. And Garrett, what do we have here? This looks like a smaller type of uh, yeah, road frame. It's, it's a smaller frame. It's for a woman who is going to race, but she wanted that ride of uh, steel bike. Okay. And so the, this one has a very typical kind of concerns that a person would have with building a custom bike. Um, she's only five foot two and has a relatively short inseam for her height. So we've got a real problem with the, the seat tube length, trying to get that short enough. Um, on a, on a standard bike, you might have to get too short of a, of a top tube for right. that, so it wouldn't fit right. right. The other problem that she would have is on a, on a short top tube, a commercial manufacturer has to flatten out the slope of the front um, to get that toe clip clearance, which then messes up the handling, so she doesn't get that crisp handling of the bike that she would want for a very experienced rider that's going to race. Right. So on, on this kind of bike, we gave her a, a slightly upsloping top tube, 6 degrees, uh, which allows her room for a standard size 700C wheel, even though she's a very small person, which gives her tubes that she can find at any bike shop or any one of her friends on a, on a ride, will be able to give her fix and flats and fix wheels and things like that, as well as um, giving her the uh, front end geometry that she wants. So this one has a you know 74 degree top uh, head tube, nice crisp sharp uh, handling, a little bit of toe clip overlap, which is something that you normally want to avoid in this particular case. She's a very experienced rider, would rather have a little bit of toe clip overlap and still get that crisp handling that she wanted. Right. So it's a very typical kind of a thing that a person would want to build a custom bike for. The other thing that's interesting about this bike is it's kind of typical of what we would do at Vendetta. There's a lot of polished stainless uh, bikes, yeah. polished stainless lugs, as well as the polished stainless down tube logo. And uh, this one, you know, people are not just riding bikes for the function, right? There's a little bit of style involved. Sure. So we can provide her that handling that she wants, the geometry that fits her body, and then a look of a bike that she can be really proud of. Now, how do you do this for the for people who aren't familiar? How do you raise on a steel tube to get your logo to, to stand out like that? It's beautiful. How is that? Well, how is, is that done? It's laser cut out of stainless sheet, and then we form it to the curve to match the, the tube. Then that's silver brazed on. Uh, so we wick silver in in between the stainless and the steel tube, all the way underneath there. Then uh, file and polish until it's smooth. And then the person that really hates it is the painter who has to mask this all off <laughs> yeah. and then cut with a razor blade to get the edges. Really Really crisp with the paint. Now, for we're talking a female rider for a bike like this, why would a female rider choose? And in today's world of custom carbon and 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 you know titanium or aluminum, why steel? What is what is it about steel that you, as a builder, like to work with? And why for a bike racer, especially someone who's competitive and in the world of you know counting grams and ounces, right. why would somebody want to race a steel bike over well, other materials? So the the difference in weight between a steel bike and a carbon bike is real. There's a real difference. A steel bike is a little bit heavier, but it's not a lot. Heavier. So a steel frame, especially one this small, is going to be under three pounds. And so if you're talking about the total bike weight, the frame is a relatively small proportion. It's much more dependent on the wheels and the kit that you put on the bike. So you can get a steel bike that's fairly light. Especially this one, you'll notice, does have a carbon fork. The uh, steel steer tube in a steel fork is relatively thick and be uh, too big of a weight penalty for this particular bike. So we can give her a steel bike that is in the realm of the weight that she would want, even compared to a modern carbon or, or aluminum bike. The difference that she does get, first of all, is the, the lug construction. So lugs allow us to use really thin tubes and have still a very strong joint. You don't overheat the tube when you're brazing because the silver joining process is a lower temperature. It gives a very strong and then aesthetically, you know, you can't beat the, the lugs for the aesthetics. And then the final reason is for the ride of the bike. Uh, we were able to do some things custom on this bike. For example, the seat stay attachment is a little bit non-traditional up here on the seat yeah. bolt, rather than being attached right here through the center of the right. lug. This makes the bike a little bit softer ride. For somebody that's very lightweight, this, the strength is not as big of a deal. You contrast that with other bikes that we might make for a track bike or a heavier rider. We'd never recommend this kind of a seat uh, attachment. So we can give her that soft ride of a steel bike and even a little bit better while not giving up anything in the stiffness down in the bottom bracket to keep that power transfer real efficient for a racing. Right. Well, there you have it, ladies. If you want a racing road bike that has a lot of style and is still pretty light, and rides a lot better than carbon. Garrett Clark has your bike right here, Vendetta Cycles. Thanks a lot, Garrett. Thank you very much.